Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Here we are on the Meehen High Road, um, which is our next port of call and our journey here. Our journey, a journey of discovery. Got this weird little area in here. And basically this is going to be like an area with new enemies to see, new things to explore. I'm recording this in the exact same session that I recorded pretty much all of Luca in. This is a statue of Lord Meehen. Oh, that's a guy. Eight centuries ago, he found tells the story. He pretty much tells the history. He's a famous historian. In just a few short years after their founding, their ranks grew throughout Spira. The maesters of Yevon feared an uprising and accused them of rebellion. So Lord Meehan walked along this very road to go face their charges and refute them. It's like, go Meehan. He succeeded in winning the Maester's trust, and his legion became an arm of the Yevin clergy. It was then that Yevin gave them the name Crusaders, which they have kept ever since. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. Um, yeah, you're going to see him like several points over the course of the game. And at every point he always has something interesting to say, so you're going to want to listen to him. Okay, here we are. That one looks slow. It's also tough. Let me handle this. So this is basically no like way. a new type of enemy it. that you're going to come up against, which is pretty much noted for their high defense. <laughs> As demonstrated by the fact that Titus did jack shit to him. Now, Oren is pretty much known for having like piercing weapons and also being quite strong. Oh, yeah. So Oren's the best. <laughs> I could have done that. Yeah, maybe with like ten years time you can do that. Um So like Oren is known for kind of like just being generally quite physically powerful. Um but also Okay, you as I say, you're gonna want to like Talk to everyone you see along this road. Like, don't miss anybody if you can. Because especially there's, like, one person on this road who's going to be able to give you a level 1 key sphere. And you don't want to miss that. Um, but Oren gets, like, quite a few interesting abilities as well. Like, side abilities. And also quite a few interesting debuffs as well. Um, which you're going to be able to take advantage of. Oh god. Got this stupid Araman or whatever it's called here as well, getting all up in my business. Okay, as long as it didn't confuse me. These guys can really be a pain in the neck. I'm just gonna take out the dog first. Please don't confuse. Thank you, oh my god. Now can we take it out? 140 damage, I should be able to do that in my sleep. Okay, don't kill anybody here now, please. Especially not Waka. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to bring in Lulu and just take this guy out. Like, I'm going to- what I think I'll do is I'll save, like... Like, I'll save the kind of, like, grinding element of things where I, like, try and, um... Yeah, moving on is right. I'll save the kind of, like, grinding element where I try and get everyone in on the AP for, like, off-screen or the off-screen battles or whatever. Like, I think that's probably, like, the best way to go about things. For the battles where I'm showing, like, the whole thing... Um, on screen, I think actually it should be more beneficial to just kind of be more efficient. Correct, a city most ancient, a terrible testament to sin's power. I tremble every time I see them. His voice acting is so good as well. Humans are mere mud puppies. Hmm. But I believe humans are the only ones capable of defeating Well, who else is going to? A good reply. I am relieved to hear you say that, Milady Summoner. So what, you think the Ronso are going to fight yeah. Sin? Are my manners? I am matron. A That'll be the day. Your service, Milady. Yeah, Macon, that's his name. Journey, studying the history of our world, Spira. Seeking its stories and secrets. My travels have taken me to many places, and I am troubled by what I have seen. Fragile smiles on people's faces, crumbling at the mere mention of sin. They are counting on you, milady. Give them a reason to rejoice once more. I will. That's what I intend to do. That's the whole point of this mission I'm going on. 
Isn't there like a treasure chest here somewhere? Well, he, he's pretty much just gonna set up shop inside there. Like, surely there'd be something behind here. Yeah, I was right. The music on this place is so funny as well. It's like. It's just ridiculous, like, seriously. Um, by the way, this is like the next place where I kind of like to do, where I pretty much like to do my grinding. Okay, this guy is like quite a lot of HP. I'm gonna take out Orin, see what he's able to do. It's like 291 damage is good. Kamari, what are you able to do? This guy will like do a lot of damage to you, like he's a heavy hitter. 626, oh my god, Kamari, you're crazy. Told you he's a heavy hitter. Titus, let's get you in on the action here. Yeah, we'll get like some new character dialogue as well by virtue of the fact that Orin is here and thing. Um, black magic. I guess Blizzard, I don't know. I never know what to use on these guys. I think you can take him out, Kamari? Overkill, Jesus. What is up with all this damage Kamari is doing? It's crazy. Two ability spheres, I'm not going to complain about that. As I say, again... God, who wants to talk to us now? Oh, these guys. I forgot. I completely forgot these guys even existed, actually. Lady Summoner, I presume. Yes, I am Yuna. I am Yuna, I am hear me roar. Captain of the Jose Chocobo Knights. Lucy. Elma. We've been charged to guard the high road. Elma is like a Korok's name or something. There have been reports of a large fiend appearing in this area with a taste for chocobos. Do take care, Summoner Yuna, if you are to rent any chocobos. Thank you. We will be careful. You'll be dead. Good. We should get back to our rounds. Farewell. Nice our meeting you. Are with you. Godspeed, chocobo Large knights. Let's go get him. Are you sure that wasn't keep a large fiend eating the chocobos? Why? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> Seriously, Oren. Like I said, I say you're making a hobby of annoying Jeff me these days. Said that a lot too. Don't you compare me to that asshole. And every time he said it, it meant trouble for Braska and me. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Is this the guy? As I say, there's like one of these guys I don't want to miss. Hunter's spear? No, that's just some weapon for that jerk Kamari. What's over here? Bring it on! There's like some weird space over here, apparently. Um, as I said, like as I was saying, this is like pretty much the next area that I like to grind in. Um, after time, oh my god, there's her as well, I forgot about her. But I kind of want to get up to like the next, the next save point before I end off the video, or will I even get to do that? 
Oh, did I seriously just attack that with Yuna? 33 damage. Good job, Yunster. Jeez, did she, did she died. Special item. Is this really worth using a Phoenix down upon? Yeah, poor Yuna died there in that battle, and I let I decided it was probably just better all to get her to just leave her dead. I forgot about this as well. All these little bits and pieces I'm forgetting. Ah, a summoner party. But this is actually one of my favorite characters in the game. Can't believe I forgot about her. I didn't forget she existed. I just forgot we were going to be running into her here. The high summoner's daughter. I've heard much of you. Yeah, while you were getting high with the summoners. Are you not? Yes, I am. I might have a few things to teach you. Hmm? Let us see which are stronger. My Aeons or yours. Ooh. A one-on-one -on -one match. Not to the death, of course. What do you say? Yeah, I'll fight. Hmm. I'll do my best. That's all you can do, Yuna. Your Aeons have been healed. You can fight with your full strength. Come. I'm gonna give it all I've got. So yeah, this is actually quite cool. We'll get to... Basically, she's gonna go ahead and summon Ifrit. Which we actually haven't even shown off yet. All we've shown is Val for. And I'm not even really sure if I'm going to go ahead and summon Valfor or whether I'm going to summon Ifrit as well. I hope I can actually beat the beat her actually. Summon. Oh, I can't like summon him. I can only summon Valfor. I guess you can't summon the same Aeon against her same one. It's like maybe I should have done the Sphere Grid before doing this. As I said, like, this is, like, one of the areas where I like to grind in, but I like to grind, like, later on, rather than... Like, what I was hoping is that I'd get to the point where I got the level 1 key sphere. Because you do, there is, like, one random person on this road that when you talk to them, they'll give you, like, a level 1 key sphere. Okay, can I use, like, Blizzard on this guy? It's probably, like, the best thing to do. I wonder, though, if it even is, though. 144 damage, jeez. Okay, well that's... Yeah, yeah, I know all this crap already. Black magic, blizzard... It's like I wonder, like, now I'm starting to wonder, don't use that! That'll kill me. Well, it won't. Like, I want to see, like, how much, like, the actual regular attack will do. Well, that's almost doing as much as blizzard. Basically what I want to do is I want it to hit me again so that I can get my overdrive and that'll probably like take me out is what it'll do. Well I'm use Meteor Strike, why don't you? Okay, overdrive time. Hopefully this will be enough to take him out because otherwise I'm done for. I have 36 HP. Surely en Energy Ray will be able to do it. He can't have more HP than that, surely. What? He got me! How much HP does he have? Okay, well I guess I'm gonna have to try that one again, viewers. Sorry about that. That's enough. Yeah, I know. In the grand scheme of things, I'm still only a young Padawan. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna hang this on to the end of the last video, because what I actually did was I reloaded my save game from the start of the Mihen High Road or whatever. And I've actually done a little bit of grinding, um, because, like, for- but only, like, a little bit. Like, I mean, I think I got everyone up, like, maybe four or five levels than where they had been previously. 
Um, so we're going to continue on our merry way on the sphere grid here. Get some people, like, leveled up. Now, the thing that I noticed when I was, like, doing my grinding here is that I just wasn't getting the overdrive, so I might do a little bit more, um... Just because I tend to do it on regular playthroughs anyway, I tend to grind quite a bit at this time of the game. And it's not because, like, the game is particularly... What's going on here? Did I miss something? Oh, that's just that extract speed. I saw it down there and I was like, wait a second, that can't be, like, another node that I've missed or something. And, like, I tend to like to do grinding at this point in the game anyway, because it just makes... Like, if you get the grinding out of the way at certain points like this and, um, provoke, I guess we'll use it. It's actually somewhat useful, like, for, for one specific boss battle I'm thinking of at least later in the game. Um, like, um, if you take the opportunity to grind at certain specific points like this earlier in the game, it just means that you don't have to grind later in the game, if you know what I mean. And there are certain points, like, like, um... What's that? Delay attack? That's also very useful. There are certain points, like the Kilika Wood, um, and like here on the Mi and on the Mihen High Road, where just like they lend themselves so well to to grinding because, like, you do like a little bit of grinding, and then you like increase your level and your strength enough. So what's that? Extract power. Pff, no one needs that. So we're just gonna head on up. Actually, we can head all the way up here. So all those levels, and we actually didn't even get that much for Auron here. We'll get some HP and we'll get some extra strength, but... I mean, he starts, like, and we'll get Guard. He starts, like, quite equipped enough as it is, so I mean... He's actually quite good. Now what's this over here? Is that Power Break? Yeah, good. Okay, well, that's useful. No, I don't. I'm not finished yet. Kamari... Now, so what you'll notice is it actually costs less sphere levels to go back than it does to go forward. Now, we're going to want to bring Kamari all the way over here. No, that's not the way I wanted to go. No, I didn't want to go that way. Move. I'm going to go back here first because it went like, what way did it go there? It went this really strange way where it went like... Okay, so if I go... So technically, if I go over here... So that would cost like two sphere levels. If I went here, it should cost, bring me down to six, and then I'd go five, four, three, two. So yeah, it's the same thing. I don't know why it went like, okay, now it's going that way. Yes, I'll go there. I don't know what the hell it was doing there. Actually, I'll move to the next one while I'm at it. Um. You'll notice it costs, like, fewer sphere levels to go back along a path that you've already been on than it does to, more than, than it does to like, go forward into uncharted territory on the sphere grid. Now, we're actually almost where we want Kamari to be when we get that first level 1 key sphere, because we want him to be down here. So, like, another, pretty much another 7 sphere levels, is that right? Yeah, and we'll be where we want to be. Yuna, this is like one of the main reasons why I decided to do like a bit of grinding here. Basically to make this Belgamine fight go by a bit more easily. Because like I know like winning isn't everything and this is a but this is one of the battles where the item that you do get for winning is actually quite useful. Basically if you win against her, you're gonna get like a new piece of armor for Yuna that'll um That'll pretty much have like the same ability as the Seeker's ring she has on at the moment, but it'll also have like plus, um, but it'll also have like, um, what's called like Silence Ward or one of those ones. Basically, something that'll that'll allow us to to be more resistant to Silence. And like for a magic user like Yuna, that's pretty pretty important. So where do I want to come here with Lulu? We want to come up here. And as I say, like, all these, like, you, this might not look, look like a lot, and I mean, I could have... See, focus, that's not really even that useful. It's, like, useful for a couple of battles. Like, maybe boss battles where you're using, like, a lot of magic. Um, and, and they're going on for long enough to make, like, buffing yourself up with focus useful, but other than that... It's not going to be used that much in this LP, I can tell you that much now. 
as I say, this mightn't look like a lot that we're doing, we're getting a load of like small buffs, but they add up and they make a big difference. Like the thing is, the reason I decided to do like a little bit here and get it out of the way was basically probably the buffs that I give, or the, the, the grinding that I do here, or the small like amounts of levels that I'm getting here, will probably enable me to get like overkills if I do like a small bit more grinding. I've decided to like skip that extractability thing. Because I really, I probably won't need it. There's probably some enemy I can grind ability spheres off of anyway. Even though, as you can see, I'm down to like six ability spheres. That's why I was saying, like, don't... Like, if I had used, like, those... If I had used, like, those, um... Ability spheres to learn those attacks, like, Null Tide, Null Blaze, all of them. I would basically be down to two ability spheres right now. Now I'm down to five. And the thing is, like, the more characters you add to your party, like, now we have Orin here, he's going to be learning his abilities soon, and he has quite a few abilities that he's going to be learning in the near enough future. Like, Power Break, that's only, like, one of the... one of the abilities that he adds to his arsenals, which are really, like, quite useful debuffs. Um, and, like, you're going to need the ability spheres for that, and I don't want to get into the stupid situation where I just cannot... Um, teach him the abilities because I don't have the spheres. Now one other thing that happened as a result of my grinding just that little bit is that Yuna's overdrive gauge got filled up which is actually going to give me a bit of an unfair advantage in this battle so I'm just gonna skip her dialogue just a bit because we've already seen this scene. Um, but that is going to be giving me an unfair advantage when we try and do this battle again. I'll just make sure I'm recording here. Yeah there we go. Yeah, I'll fight. I'll do my best. I'm gonna try this one more time. If I don't get it this time, then I'm just gonna continue on. Your aeons have been healed. You can fight with your full strength. Oh, I'll show you full strength, because my overdrive is full. And basically what Yuna's overdrive does is it basically means you're able to summon an Aeon that already has a full overdrive gauge. So that's one advantage I have compared to the last attempt I made in this video. The other advantage I'm going to have over that time um, is that I've actually done like some leveling up and increased her magic defense, increased her defense, increased her magic power, increased her HP. And just like Belgamina alludes to there, Grand Summon, that's basically her, um, her overdrive. Um, like, the Aeons and the Summoner are connected, so basically, as you level up, the Aeons will get... As you become more powerful, as too will the Aeons become more powerful. Because, like, what other way are you going to do it? There has to be some way for the game to be able to step up there. Um, to be able to allow them to get stronger as you get stronger, or whatever. So here we go, we're pretty much going to be able to kick off with an energy ray here. It's going to let him get off two attacks, but he's going to get off two attacks anyway. And I prefer those two attacks to contribute to... To contribute to... See, that already did like a 5,000 more damage than it did the last time. Yeah, see, just like I said, like the attributes rise with those of its summoner. So now it's going to use Meteor Strike. And I, as I say, I prefer those like... So what do I do? Shield, boost, send Aeon away, like I'm gonna do that. Um, I prefer those attacks to be boosting my overdrive, like it's already almost halfway up. Already it looks like we're doing a lot better this time around. We're actually gonna shield this time. Because that just does too much damage, I don't want like my... Dam- oh I didn't even press the X button a second time. I don't want to end up getting killed here. If Meteor Strike is going to be doing all that damage, C58, I can live with that. I'm just going to keep using Blizzard, because how much was that doing? Like, 363 damage? So you can't argue with that. 392. Okay, do I have... I See, I don't have Cure, that's the thing. I better, like, shield this time as well. I keep forgetting you have to, like, press an F, the X a second time. It's like, who else am I going to use Shield on? I keep thinking it's like when you... I keep thinking it's like when you, um... I keep thinking it's like when you defend in regular battle, it's like then you don't you don't have to press triangle a second time there, it just does it. 
Okay, we beat it this time. Well done. And like I probably was going like what would have happened the next turn as he went, he would have attacked me and I would have got my overdrive up again and I would have been able to use that is energy ray, but there we go. That's how it's done in the words of Oren. And all that was was like from like I probably would have won anyway, even if it hadn't been for like Yuna's overdrive being Not up. Bad for one. Take this. You've earned it. Did I like skip past her dialogue there or something? Yeah, there we go, the echo you ring. Promise. With more draining, you could defeat Sin. Yeah, who knows? Thank you. But I think you might defeat Sin before I am able to. Hmm, I don't know about I that. Cannot. Huh? Or should I say, I was not able to. You mean... Farewell, Yuna. We'll meet again. Yeah, that's not the last we're gonna see of her. So wait a second, did she, did she heal all of our characters? No, of course she only healed Yuna. Talk about preferential treatment. So yeah, let's, it's time to continue along the Mihen high road here. Sorry if this video is going to turn out really long, especially including like all the sphere grid stuff, but 